or you people are preparing for ICR, GRF, SRF or NET exam in future science subjects and are worried how to crack this exam or you have confused in your mind which book you have to refer, which book you don't have to refer. Today I am going to answer all these questions in this video. So make sure that you will watch this video till end. I have made this video on the basis of the special request by our students. But before starting the video, kindly make sure that you have subscribed our channel by hitting the below subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get the latest notification of our videos when we will upload some new videos. So without waiting, wasting any further time, let's start the video. Channel, kindly do not forget to subscribe our channel by hitting the below subscribe button and press the bell icon. Before talking about the main topic today, you people maybe have in your mind when I have to start for the preparation of this course. If you take the, my suggestion after completing your second year, you can start preparing for the JRF exam. If you see the whole syllabus of this uh, BFAC, I have divided that syllabus into five departments. The first department I'm going to talk is about fisheries biology. In the fisheries biology, you people are learning about what is fish, what is fish diversity, what are the different sources of fisheries across the globe or across the, in India. In the fisheries, in fisheries biology department, you people are learning about the fish taxonomy, biology and physiology things, inland and marine capture, stock assessment and population dynamics. As per my experience, as per my experience, other than fish biology and physiology, population dynamics and stock assessment, the rest of the subjects you people have just to, to remember. You, whether it's the data, whether it's the names, whether it's a taxonomy identification, family, species, you have to just remember these things. But in case of biology or population dynamics or stock assessment, you people have to understand the mechanism, you have to understand the concepts. Otherwise, you will not be, it will not be easy for you to solve the question in the exam. And most of the tough questions will be come from the population dynamics, where the most of the students will not be able to answer the question. So make sure you have gone through these areas thoroughly. Afterwards, there will come on the screen the different types of books that I recommend for the fisheries biology you need to necessary to study at least once. It is my personal recommendation. Nobody has recommended it. You can take this or you cannot take this, it's all up to you. In the screen, there will become the list of the books. You stop the video and note down in your notebooks. I'm not going to read the name of the books because this video will become lengthy and boring. The second department I'm going to talk is about aquaculture. It is a commercial value department in fishery science. In the aquaculture, you people are learning about the different aquaculture systems, whether it's a bricks water, whether it's a fresh water, marine or cold water. You, 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 are, you are becoming the aware about the seed production of fin fish and shellfish. I have included fish nutrition, feed technology, fish genetics and biotechnology in this department. In the aquaculture courses, you people have just to remember the things also. But if you talk about the nutrition, biochemistry or biotechnology, you people have to understand the concepts. You have to learn, you have to understand the mechanism. The, most of the questions will be from the aquaculture side in the ICR GRF exam. So you have to necessarily go thoroughly also this department. It's one of the core department in the fishery science. In the screen, there will become the list of the books that The third department I'm going to talk is fish processing and engineering department. In the fish processing department, you people are learning about different fishing technology, value added products and in engineering different gear and crafts which are using for the harvesting the fishes. So in the screen again, there will become some list of the books that I recommend for these departments. The fourth department in my list is the aquatic health and environment management. In this department, you people are learning about the fish diseases their treatments, immunology, fish toxicology, aquatic pollution, all these aspects. But make sure that you people have learned carefully about the fish diseases. What are the different causes to organisms? What are their symptoms? It is becoming very tough for the students to answer these questions in the exam. I have given some books for the reading purpose. 
it will come on the screen kindly stop the video and note down this in my list the last department but not the least is the social sciences department in this department you people are learning about fisheries economics fisheries extension or fisheries statics I try my best to cover all these uh, departments that are important for your JRF examination. But one thing maybe have come in your mind, how we have to prepare. That's more important question. So as per my suggestion, if you take the my suggestion, what you have to do one thing. Suppose when you are reading any book, like Handbook of Aquaculture and Fisheries, when while you are reading any chapter, you keep notebook with you. When you are reading any chapter or any page of that book, why do you think it is the important points are there or important concepts that you know that in your notebook? What will be the use of that? When you will want to again revise the same things, you don't have to read the whole book. You will read only on your notes or you will read only the, that important points. It is damn sure this technique will help you. This time will be, this will be easy for you to recall the things or to memorize the things. Kindly let me know if you people want some special lecture on special topics uh, in, this, in these departments that I have mentioned above already. So we can arrange the topics. What you do, you mention in the comment sections, comment section which topics or which lecture you want so that we will try our best to arrange the same. If you like our work, kindly subscribe our channel and share with this video to fisheries fraternity people. We will meet again next lecture. Till then. Bye bye. And kindly do not forget to subscribe our channel by hitting the below subscribe button and press the bell icon.